Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's try this, try to model a cage ladder. So something like, like this. Okay, so we're going to um, just use this as an example and we're going to model it in Revit. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, okay, so first let's model um, because this this cage uh, usually um, it's been it will be placed uh, next to a wall. So let's model it as a wall-based family. So first, go to new new family and generic model wall-based. Okay. And after this, you can change to whatever category uh, you want to. Let's just use generic model for now. Okay, so this is a wall based. So uh, you can see, so this is a place side. So when you place, so which means you, when you uh, model this family, you always play, place uh, the geometry on this side, on the, on the uh, this side, on the top side. And this is a wall. And then, and you, you can also see this is the thickness of the wall. So it will change depending on, um, depending on the, uh, the wall in in your project okay so don't worry too much about this so it, it can be 150 but it can be any uh, thickness so let's so first start with some reference plan so first um, if you look at this so there's a little gap between the wall and this uh, main vertical structure so let's say I'll just create a reference plan and do a dimension. So dimension, you need to dimension it to um, not the center of the wall. So let's try to tap, pick, um, actually I'm not quite sure <laughs> which one to pick. You, maybe uh, we should pick the face of the wall. So tab again. Yep, so this is the face of the wall. So, so let's try this. And um, I want to, maybe I'll just set this at maybe to uh, 150, I'm not sure. So you can make it parametric by just add a domain uh, parameter. But for this exercise, I'll just set it at 150. Okay, so the next step, an another uh, re couple of, of reference plan, dimension di equal another dimension. So this, uh, we're going to set the width of uh, um, these two uh, main structure. So we are going to um, let's say we pick this exterior face. Okay, so this face and also that face. So this face and that face. So um, I'm not sure what the standard width uh, need to be, um, but for now I'll just use so for almost 300. Okay, so I guess 600 should be. I'm not sure if it's enough or not, but yep, that's fine. For um, and then we need to also also a, th a thick. So this uh, let's guess fifty. Let's say fifty by fifty. Okay, so so we need another reference plan here. Di. So let's set it at fifty. Okay, and then we need also another two another two dimension. So now we can just set all these to 50. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, and also, if you want to make this adjustable, you can just select all of them and create another parameter. But for this exercise, I'll set them at 50. Okay, so now we have um, this reference plan. We can create an extrusion. Okay, so use rectangle one rectangle, lock onto reference plan, another one. Okay, so finish. So now go to elevation, so placement side, or back, it uh, should be the same. And you will see this is an extrusion from uh, ground level up. And then we can, don't need to adjust the, this one unless you your ladder uh, will be off the floor. So 
or leave it there. Oh, actually, I forgot to add a reference plane. So let's just add a reference plane here. Another dimension. So this will be the height. I'll just uh, create a parameter. Let's call it H. OK. And OK, so just drag this extrusion up to this reference plane, lock it. So now if I go to 3D view, you will see these are the two uh, legs. <laughs> Okay, so and then to adjust the height, you can go here. So for example, I'll change it to six meter. And don't worry about the height of the wall. If you wanted to, you can drag the wall to to match. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to floor plan. So we have these two legs, and then oh, actually I want to have a test. Okay, so just to make sure. So this dimension is correct because when we place this dimension, we place it onto the face of the wall. Okay, so I'll just go quickly, just create a project. And I'll load this into the project. And then I'll cancel escape, draw a wall, and place a component and place it here. I want to check the dimension between this wall face and this Okay, so this is wrong. This is wrong. So uh, see, uh, if I change it to a 150 wall, which I don't think we have, <laughs> if I change the wall thickness to, oh, just the directly change it here. So 150, 40. I'll get rid of that. I'll change this to 40, make it 150. It will become 150 correct. But once we change the wall thickness, so this dimension uh, become a different number, <laughs> so which is not right. So what we need try we need to do is uh, try to change the the witness um, point. So instead of so see here, so this is the witness uh, point, or yeah, it says move witness line. So let's just try to drag this point. And then move this back onto this face tab. So this is reference line. So let's try reference line. Oh, sorry, reference plan. Okay. So because last time we tried a wall face, it doesn't, it didn't work. So this time we try reference plan. Okay. So exact same. But, uh, let's just lock it. So now load this back into project. Overwrite. Uh, and then we change uh, to a different. So yep. This time you can see doesn't matter what the thickness the wall thickness is this dimension always uh, is always 150 which is correct so now you know that when we do this one always use the reference plan not the uh, wall face okay <laughs> good um, okay so what's next so let's have a look uh, at that image. OK, so we have all the vertical. Now let's do the horizontal. So let's say they are maybe 30 by 30 and every um, maybe 200. Yeah, OK, so 250. Um, so the easiest way is use nest nested family. So let's quickly go create a new family. So we can use generic model. And we're going to add some reference plan. So this is a floor plan. Okay, so we're looking uh, from the top. Okay, so just reference plan and the dimension di equal di di equal and another dimension. So let's just call this w <coughs> for the, for the width. And this we can call it uh, maybe depth. Let's call it a d. And also, we need to go to the front view. We need a thickness to it. So we're going to just draw two reference plan, one at the top and bottom. Just create a dimension equal another dimension. And um, oh, hang on. yeah, because uh, let's just make it 30 because. Um, you you can, you can create a parameter for this, so you can adjust. But uh, for this exercise, 
just make it 30. So you can just type here, type 15 to make it 30. You can't, you, you, you won't be able to click on this one. See, you can't do that, but you can do this, a little trick for you. Okay, so go to the floor plan again. So for this one, uh, the same, let's just type in 15 to make this 30. And this W, don't worry about this, because we are going to associate a parameter when we load the parameter when, when we load this into the other family. So now we can create um, the execution. So you can do it uh, in any view. You can do it in floor plan or even uh, elevation. So let's actually let, let's do it here. Execution rectangle and one, two, three, four finish and go to front view and drag this to this reference plan lock drag this to this lock and this is it so now we can load this into the family and we can place it so I'm going to just place it randomly just place it here okay so first first I want to link the parameter so let's edit type so this um, oh hell we, we have a D uh, did I just create it? Yeah, that's fine. Just leave it. Okay, so leave it. Uh, the width. We're going to do the width. So we're going to con uh, connect um, the this one with this. So uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. So currently, oh, we don't have a width parameter. So let's just create a width parameter. Okay, so and then go here. The width in this family in this family so we're going to somehow link to here so now let's have a look so if if i want to place this horizontal mem member between these two which means this width need to be w minus this then minus this okay so which means we can uh, we need to do this so we need to create another so let's call it w w1 and OK, and OK, and OK. Go to family types. So we just need to go here, W1 equals W minus. So 2 times 50, which is 100, right? So apply, OK. So now this will fit in here. So now we can just AL align. So use the center reference plan lock. And also, uh, we don't have a center reference plan, but that's fine. We can just create one, OK? So maybe just drag here dimension equal now this is a center reference plan so we can do al and that's it and then we need to go to the elevation so we, we need to do it vertically so okay so first we need to set the first first one so it won't be on the ground so maybe just uh, do a reference plan and give it a number so i think let's make it uh, to 200 uh, yeah 200 so uh, you you can make it parametric but for this I'll just use 200 and then we need to um, okay we need to um, the next step you have two options okay so you have two options so one option is you uh, let, me, let me just move this one up for now so try to move this up and use align uh, and also um, by default you you will see there's no reference plan there so this is because if you go edit this one go to elevation so this reference plan here tab this one by default is not a reference so we just need to change this one to any of these so maybe i'll just use oh, strong reference okay and then load this back into here now we can align we can find this very easily here okay so this is the first one so now two options one one option is so you can just place another reference plan here so let me just mention it and then array use the second one okay so if you do it this way usually um you will be able to just um, use fixed spacing so for example this one array current number is two and then you can just create a number parameter so let's just quickly 
create a number parameter. So this will decide how many of these horizontal members we need for the this height. Okay. So now we can go to family types, number equals uh, height minus, oh sorry, not minus, divide by, um, so 200 in, in this case, right? So 30 will go up to the top. And you might need to want to, oh, I don't want that, that's fine. So you can just minus one, oops. You can just minus one, for example, okay? And then that's it. So this is the first, um, first uh, oh, actually, let's just use this option. So I'll use the other option for uh, another element, okay? So so because we, we still have this thing here. So for this thing, I'm going to use uh, the second option. Okay, so the first option is use array with the second. The, the other option is use array um, and use the n option. And I'll explain why. Okay, so now what's next? So we have all these in that arcade, the cage. So, yep, yeah, let's do it. So for the cage, um, I'm going to model another nest family. So it will be similar to this horizontal member. So I'm going to do that. I'll just edit this one because in this one, we already have this width. So, so I'll just edit this and save as, so just re rename it. Let's call it far A, for example. And then um, we don't need this extrusion. We, maybe I'll just keep this, keep this. I'll use the reference plan, okay? So let's have a look here. So so you can see there's a little gap between that. So maybe I'll just make it 50. So which means I'll just add another reference plan here and reference plan here. Just add two dimension. So, and change this to 50, change this to 50. So, and also, um, most uh, usually you don't need to lock them. It should be fine, but to be safe, I'll just lock them. So make sure they are always 50. Um, and then we also need, uh, hang on. I think the current one minute is a little bit, maybe I'll just make it to match that um, dimension in the other family. So which is 300 times two, which is 600. Okay, and then we need to add some more reference plan. So, so I think um, I'm not sure this if this is a 60, 70. Yeah, maybe let's make this 70 as well. So I'll just add another reference plan here. So, oh hell, yeah, this one's actually. Anyway, so let's just. Uh, add a dimension here so go back to it will go back to this reference plan i'll just make it 700 and okay so now we have all the and um for this one so maybe i'll just make it parametric as well uh what do we call it call it a d we already have a d here um d2 <laughs> okay so now let's do it. So create extrusion, pick line. So this one, this one, this one. And we also need, uh, let's use fillet arc. And let's start, uh, we won't be able to do it there. So roughly um, 350, let's just place it here for now and move, move it up to here. So here, um, I want to try to try to constrain it onto here, but let me think how can I do it. So this is always three. Okay, so this is always. Uh, anyway, let's let's just leave it for now. So maybe um, maybe we can we can we can try to uh, make it uh, parametric in next episode because I think this one will be a little bit too long. Okay, so we need offset. We need a little bit thickness. So thickness, maybe 10 mil, maybe. So I'll just offset OF, 10 mil, tab, 
that's that's it. And also here we need to um, we need to break it and trim a split element SL and trim TR. And also let's just VV to check the or just have a look. Um, most of the time should be okay. So we can just have a test. So finish it and go to front view and then um, ah, for this one the thickness will be oh uh, what's sorry what's the what's this dimension uh, let's make it 40 for example so I will use maybe even just use this one 30 yeah that would be fine oh maybe just make it 40 so let's just change this one to 20 and just I'll just lock this onto onto it yeah all good so now let's have a look in so in 3d okay so if I change try to change this one see what happens 500 yeah I think it works and if I change this one doesn't work but that's fine uh, we will trying to fix it next time so now let's load this into this family here and then I'll just uh, place it here okay so first I want to align so this center center lock and then um, this reference plan and try to find it here so this one and lock now go to uh, elevation so this is currently on the floor um, I guess this one need to go up a little bit, maybe um, two meters, for example. So I'll just draw a reference plan, RP, DR dimension, and make it uh, two meter. Okay, and then we can align this onto that two meter reference plan. And then we need to al array, array it. So array, and this time. I'm going to do it um, use the second method because because oh sorry wrong one <laughs> because um, I want to control the top of this one to so for example at a certain height match that okay so I'm going to array this one a AR and pick the check the last box so I'm going to last um, place it here okay finish it and then AL and I'll just lock onto the top and also center where's my center reference plan here and trying to pick the set center oh where where is it ah oh, interesting where is my uh, I think something's not right. This should be a center reference plan. Let's try again. Uh, doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, maybe let's go to floor plan. Um, and also uh, by default. So let's a quick trip. Uh, trip trip um, tips for you. By default, the you need to click. You you click on this view and in in order to change the view plan so by default this cutting plans 1200 so because this one's quite tall six six, six meter so you need to set this up a little bit so i'll just set this at not a 10 meter so in order to see this one then we can try to yep so we can find this reference plan in the plan view interesting so let's just lock all good and go to elevation again so this time select this one of one of this uh, group member and then tab select this number so we need to create another number parameter so let's call it number two and okay so this time um, similar similar but the because this, the spacing for these are different so if you look at this image I guess um, let's have a look one two three four so if that's 200 so this is 800 
So I'll go here. Um, we can just use H minus because these are two meter from the ground. So minus two meter and bra bracket and minus. Oh, sorry, not minus. The divide divide by um, divide by eight hundred. Okay, so apply. That's it. So and let's have a check. Have a ch check. So that's um, nine. So you can. So what you can do is you can use round up. So for example, this one. So you want to make sure that's our oh, maximum eight hundred. So then you need to to round up I believe let's have a oops sorry wrong up up where's the wrong oops oh oh still the same uh, maybe we need to just add plus one <laughs> so now you can see uh, 796 so if I Increase a little bit, so just check this one. Okay, so yeah, it will go. It won't. Uh, it it won't be. Be. It will. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it won't uh, ex exceed a hundred. Okay, so um, yeah, I think this is. I think this is it for today. So you can see it's not finished um, tomorrow or maybe the day after. So we'll have a look and see, just make this part parametric. And also let's try to place these onto it and also make sure it follows the, the height and also follows the shape of this okay so that's it for today um, let's save this family and uh, continue next time okay thank you see you next time thank you bye